Good morning, Floss Tube. How's it going? Um, I am feeling much better than I was last week. I know several of you got a big kick out of uh, watching me try to stumble through filming a video while uh, feeling like shit and being on cold meds. Uh, it's been kind of a hellish week and I don't have a lot to show you progress wise because apparently I had a sinus infection and I didn't realize I had a sinus infection and then one morning I woke up and uh, this is kind of gross but I thought I had pink eye because I woke up and this eye was like pasted shut and I was like oh my god what now so Friday I get into the doctor and I'm like help I've been having these symptoms all week and now I think I have pink eye and so they gave me antibiotic drops for my eye but they didn't look in my nose I need a new doctor so the next day well if 3 a.m. can technically be called well it can technically be called the next day but um, anyway I was like a hundred times worse the conjunctivitis had spread to my other eye um, I had this throbbing pressure like right above this eyebrow and uh, it's Saturday morning and I'm like oh god uh, so um, you know at breakfast I'm like trying to reach the on-call doctor for my doctor's office and the answering service pages her or him or whoever nothing happens an hour later they page again and I just looked at my partner and I was just like F this we're going to urgent care I need antibiotics I needed antibiotics like two days ago um, so yeah long story short too late I um, I got antibiotics and uh, I feel much better now I'm still recovering um, like this morning I'm still kind of like drippy um, <clears throat> but I'm coherent or as coherent as I ever am so I did not get a chance to respond to any comments on my previous video because once again I am a horrible person uh, I can be really bad about that but I will try to work on it um, so thank you all for wishing me well and laughing at me um, because yeah it, uh, it was pretty funny <laughs> looking back and watching it the tangents were about a hundred times worse yeah so as I said I didn't get that much done I did get a couple of things uh, for one I started uh, the little freebie frappuccino mini pattern that I got with my frosted pumpkin and uh, I had all but one of the flosses in my stash um, the floss that I did not have was the brown that's supposed to be the actual coffee so what I have to show you now is this forlorn empty little frappuccino <laughs> like, I don't have any coffee oh no what good am I um, it's cute I have I also haven't sewn a little face on but yeah that was a fun freebie I like this um, I regarding the uh, little house needleworks sheep project I have decided to table that um, for the foreseeable future because Lori organic granny had a brilliant idea that she uh, posted on uh, my last video which was to make a sheep banner 
and first of all, thank you, Lori, so much. That's an awesome idea. I'm definitely going to do that. My concerns are, A, my sewing skills suck. B, um, I'm, I need to do math oh, and figure out how long this banner is going to be, not only with just like each little sheep, but also with, you know, borders and things like that and whether or not I'm going to, I probably should put like a, a fabric border around the, uh, the actual linen I stitch it on, like uh, similar to what uh, Carolyn did with her uh, Easter egg wall hanging. Um, I do not own my current home. I rent a flat. And that is a project I would like to tackle when hopefully within the next year I have my own home and can sort of measure walls and furniture and figure out where a good place, place to hang this would be. Because it's the kind of project that I kind of like to sort of uh, plan my living, not really plan my living room around it, but have a plan for it when I'm figuring out like decor and arrangements and things. So, uh, I'm going to slowly start amassing all the little patterns and buttons and uh, the fabric, but, um, so that is backburnered for the foreseeable future. But uh, I'm excited about it, and I think it's going to be really cool. And thank you, Lori, again for the idea. I love it. <clears throat> I am, because I haven't yet gotten to Michael's or Joanne's to get the elusive DMC 3371. Um, yeah, I feel like I should be in lame is like 3371. Uh, oh, it's 2468. Anyway, whatever. What was that beep? Josh, go away. Um,. I wanted a challenge, and so I started my Frosted Pumpkin Sampler on the, on the linen. I've only ever worked with Ada, and uh, so yesterday morning, like, I'm sitting there with my needle with all this light down so I can see the threads, and I've got... Carolyn Mazio's video of, you know, how to stitch on linen and even weave. And I'm just like, ah, the entire time. But uh, I managed to get a little heart done and I posted it on Facebook and people were very encouraging. Thank you, everybody. And uh, I did some more last night. Um... So it's just a little bit of the top of the sampler. I don't know. The lighting, it's its going to rain today, and so the lighting is kind of crap. But I can't, it's in my way. I can't see if you have a good view. Mittens. So um, it's a challenge. I like challenges. I'm liking the way it looks. I'm still really uh, not very confident in my abilities here. And I need a magnifier. Or I may just need to bite the bullet and get myself some reading glasses because um, it's a little hard to see sometimes. Getting old. Not really. My eyes just, I guess, are not... Whatever. Anyway. So that's what I'm working on right now. Um, yeah. What do you guys have going on? I'm curious. Uh, knitting is kind of stagnant right now. I was working on the Wasabi Peas socks. There is an error somewhere in the pattern 
and it's driving me crazy and I can't I have yet to find anything online like the pattern uh, like the Ravelry the Ravelry page for the pattern does not have a link to any errata so I don't know if I misread I don't think I did I miscounted I might have I do that a lot but I don't I think I was pretty careful with this um so it's kind of in timeout, and I'm kind of bummed about that. But what can you do? <clears throat> I purchased another um, cross stitch kit, um, which I hope it ships soon. Um, the uh, Stitch Mania folks are having a stitch along in June for uh, um, the season three premiere of Orange is the New Black. And uh, I've never been in a stitch along before, and I've made a lot of good, well, I consider you friends. I made a lot of new friends, and I want to play with them. And uh, so I'm going to participate in the stitch along. I've never watched Orange is the New Black. Um, my sister loves it. I, sh uh, I might start watching it again because I'm not watching Game of Thrones anymore. Uh, rape is not entertainment. Um, so I might watch it. But I might... Uh, uh, we'll see. Prison dramas kind of go either way with me. Uh, but <laughs> it's a limited edition and I can't wait to show you. Uh, so if that sounds interesting to you, you could always request an invite to the Stitch Mania group on Facebook and uh, join us for some fun. It's a wonderful group, guys. Like, it... Like Angie said, it's like her favorite place on Facebook now, and I can totally, like, it's, uh, it's mine too. It's just, it's a group of friends who live all over the world, and it's, um, I, I don't know, I lost my train, I, I'm trying to figure out how to put it into words, um, just how awesome it is. So that's about all the stitchy stuff I had to talk about. There's one thing I wanted to bring up just to kind of um, pass info along uh, because that's how I roll. Um, Canadian stitchers might um, already be familiar with the uh, Friends for Life bike rally, which... Um, is a the uh, People with AIDS Foundation, which is a, a Canadian charity. Um, every year, this year it is from July 26th through the 31st, they have a fundraiser. Well, the fundraising part is going on now. They have a bike rally, and it's about 400 riders and they ride 600 kilometers. They, they ride their bikes from Toronto to Montreal. Rain or shine, no matter what. Um, raising money for uh, people living with HIV and AIDS. And the yarn harlot, who I have mentioned before, Stephanie Pearl McPhee, she is awesome. Um, has been doing, has been riding for four or five years now. And so I just kind of want to plug her and plug the bike rally. And if you would like to donate, I'm going to put the links below. Do not feel pressured to donate any money if you do not have the means. Please do feel free to pass the information along. Um, 
because I just think they do a lot of really wonderful work and it's just really awesome. Like last year it rained for like three days and uh, like the yarn harlot had to change like two flat bike tires in like the space of two days of the like two days in the middle of the ride and it was uh they're all just so amazing like they they train a better part of the beginning like the training rides are really um i don't even know what the hell i'm talking about it's a good charity they're doing wonderful work and if you have the means to support them and the desire to support them i'm going to give you the information below and please do spread the world word because it's a really good cause um and I want to stress again, if you giving money to charity is, um, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a privilege, you know, it's, it's just, it's part of, um, it, you know, I am not a wealthy woman, but I am privileged to, um, uh, have the spare resources to um, to give away occasionally. Um, I don't know if I'm going to I, I don't know if I'm going to donate to the bike rally this year because I'm kind of trying to do get this feed the homeless Fridays thing off the ground in my area, and so we'll see. But. Um, it's whatever you can do to give back is still important. And this turned into a random socialist hippie rant. I apologize. No, I don't. I don't apologize at all. Um, I apologize for the rambling, uh, not for the content. Um, so anyway, that's that. And Canadian Stitchers, if you know anyone who happens to be participating in the bike rally let me know or make a video of your own talking about them i would love to i would love to hear about it they have about 400 riders this year um plus however many hundreds of um support people for the riders i mean this is a big event because they you know they're they camp for like five nights and so and they're riding bikes. I mean, people get injured, so there are aid stations all along those 600 kilometers from Toronto to Montreal. Um, people with water, ambulances, uh, people who, who are helping set up the places where they're going to camp every night, um, people with food. Yeah, it's, um, it's a big, big charity event, and there are a lot of people who who work behind the scenes to make it happen. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of our Canadian stitchers um, are or know someone who helps out with that. And uh, I'd be curious to know. So I'm going to, I'm going to close there. I think, um, I hope everyone has a really great week and I look forward to seeing, um, what everybody's working on. Uh, thank you again so much for watching and for subscribing. You guys are wonderful and uh, you're all really inspiring. So take care.